With me today is my budding farm to table chef and horticulturist, Max. Budding, get it? That was a total mom joke. Today we're going to talk about some of those wonderful herbs that keep growing through the winter months. Max is going to demonstrate how to make a crazy flavorful herb and garlic toast using these fresh herbs. In the beautiful landscape of Lake Austin Spa Resort, we have all of these either in our culinary gardens, the landscape, or both. I love using edibles in the landscape, especially ones that provide nice evergreen anchor plants. I feel it is so important in a sustainable landscape to use as many multi-purpose plants as possible, and these fit the bill. They are outstanding performers in the garden, the landscape beds, and in the kitchen. For the herbed garlic bread, we are going to use rosemary, oregano, and thyme. We are starting with a cracked pepper sourdough, and we'll use fresh garlic and butter too. I harvested these herbs yesterday, so we are using them fresh, but you can certainly use dried herbs if you wish. First, we have rosemary. Rosemary is a tough evergreen shrub. I find it to be quite drought and deer resistant, which is perfect for Central Texas. When harvesting, I snip off the tips that are still tender, right above where the stems start to turn woody. We will chop these finely. Next up, oregano. I love working with oregano in the landscape. It has a sprawling, irregular spreading habit that I think looks wonderful in many different applications, containers to borders. Some varieties have a really showy bloom too. This is hot and spicy oregano, my favorite. Hot, hot and spicy. spicy. We will chop these finely and into the mix it will go. Our next herb is thyme. My favorite place to grow thyme is in containers. While it is certainly suited for the flower beds or garden, I just prefer it in containers. I love the way it adds fine texture and spills over the edges. The delicate blooms of thyme are particularly pretty. I love all the varieties. Thyme is minus, the diminutive tiny thyme that can be, that can handle a little light foot traffic, lemon thyme, orange thyme, woolly thyme. All of them are tough as nails and a great addition to the landscape. With thyme, I usually don't chop it. I simply strip the leaves from the stems and add it to the mix. All of these herbs like to stay a little on the dry side and we use organic fertilizer with microbiology to keep them healthy. And now for the herb garlic toast. Max made these the other night and blew us all away. We drizzled a little of his famous balsamic reduction on it and it was pretty spectacular. First, preheat your oven to 400, then place your cracked pepper sourdough on the cookie sheet like this. I assist by finely chopping several cloves of garlic. Be a rebel, use a little or a lot, up to you. Melt your butter too, and then dig out the handy brush from the drawer and brush on the butter. Brush each slice of bread heavily with butter, then add the garlic. I make sure to spread it evenly all over the bread. And this is where the magic happens. Make sure your herbs are mixed up then sprinkle them on the bread. Heavy or light, it's up to you. How rebellious of you, Max. I like to drizzle a little more butter, two reasons. One, it helps the herbs stick, and two, more butter. Next, place the tray in the oven for about five minutes. It may take a minute or two longer, depending on your oven and how crunchy you want your bread. For the recipes and tips on growing these herbs, please check out my blog. This has been Molly, your rebel horticulturist. And Max. Reminding you to know the rules so you, know, so you can break them well. Maybe not all of them, Mom. Bye. Bye.